Hello and welcome to Mage Master's amazing adventures with the Firing Squad into Vortheim, the city of the damned. A human mercenary captain called Mason Muckshot is the type of guy who loves to lay plans. Ain't that right, Captain? Yeah! He lays warband plans and battle plans, and he even has a master plan for each and every individual warband member of the firing squad. He keeps it all in the Captain's book of master plans. Now let's take a look at the Captain's master plan for... Howard Howler, Divine Wolf Priest Spellcaster, a melee hero and a first frontliner. Every warband member of the firing squad has four personal objectives, counting the first objective as the standard contract. To become a true member, everyone has to survive five missions and put five enemies out of action. Once that is accomplished, they can progress in the star ranking system as a trooper. And he can gain a star by putting another 15 enemies out of action, making it a total of 20 enemies put out of action. If he does that, he gains a star and the rank of a true trooper. And he can achieve a second star by casting Ulrich's gift on an ally who puts an enemy out of action with it. If he does that, he gains a second star and becomes a star trooper. And he can achieve a third star and the highest rank of a tri trooper by training and mastering three divine spells. Now let's take a look at the specific stats, spells and skills specified by the captain. There are three spells, two active skills and four passive skills in all, and they will all be mastered. Let's start with the spells. And the first spell is a buff called Ulrich's Gift that can be applied to a single ally. It increases the ally's melee hit chance and melee damage by 20% and it grants immunity to all alone, but unfortunately it prevents the use of flee, disengage and ranged attacks and skills. And the second spell is Snow King's Decree. It is a debuff that can be cast on a single enemy. When this enemy performs a melee attack or a ranged attack, they will inflict 20 to 30 damage to themselves. And the third and last of the spells is the Frostbite. It is also a debuff that can be cast on a single enemy. It deals 24 to 34 damage and reduces the maximum strategy points by 3. Now let's take a look at the active skills. The first one is Swift Charge. Now he will be mastering this skill, so this is a charge performing a melee attack that has a 20% chance to hit. It deals 25% damage extra and bypasses 30% of the target's dodge and parry chance. The target may counter attack with a minus 10% chance to hit. And the second and last of his active skills is Web of Steel. He will be mastering this skill, so he can take a defensive stance that ends the current turn. And the stance allows three attempts to parry incoming melee attacks, and a successful parry attempt will reduce the cost of a counterattack by one offense point. And now for the passive skills. His pre-made passive skill is Heart of the Wolf. It increases the chance to pass all alone, fear and terror and leadership tests by 35%. His second passive skill is Flash Parry. He masters this and increases his parry chance by 20%. And his third passive skill is Knowledge Tactics. He will be mastering this skill and increasing his dodge and parry chance by 15%. And the fourth and last of his passive skills is Retaliation. It will increase his chance to hit for counterattacks by 20% because he will be mastering this skill. And this is his personal Warband member master plan sheet planned out and masterminded by the captain himself. And you can find this sheet and many more in the captain's book of master plans. It provides a good understanding and a deep insight into Mage Master's amazing adventures with the firing squad into Vortheim, the city of the damned. 
Thanks for now, I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, then please leave a note in the commentary below, and hit that subscribe button and the notification button if you want to be notified of new releases. So that's it for me, thanks, and have a nice day.